So, a bit of a strange turn of events really this week. I wasn't supposed to go to Getz, and I ended up going to Getz. I was supposed to be working all weekend, but a few phone calls here, there and everywhere, and the obligations I had at work were moved around, so I moved my day off, and here presto, I was able to go to Getz. But it wasn't that simple. I must say this, DCC Concepts needed a hand. They were a little bit short-staffed, and needed someone to help them run the stall, and I just so happened to be available at the right time. So, here is what happened at Getz. Do bear in mind, because I was helping DCC Concepts out, I didn't really have time to go around doing too much filming or bargain hunting. In fact, I didn't come away with anything really. I managed to pay the guys at West Hill Wagon Works a visit and got some nice little lender train lamps from one of you. Apart from that, that was really it. I spent more on the taxis to and from the station, to be honest with you, but there we are. So, have a little cup of tea, maybe a biscuit, and have a look and see what I got up to this week at the Great Electric Train Show 2023. Evening guys, I have just finished work, it's very minimal, about half an hour ago. And I've made my way to Preston Station because I've been given last minute access and permission to attend the Great Electric Train Show in Milton Keynes. So I'm outside Brookville Preston Station right now. A little train ready to go there, a little unit ready to go to Colm, I think it said it was. I'm happy and excited. I've got a pie in my bag. So, here we go. Now, fortunately, I'm not going to be able to get any footage on the way down because it's all going to be dark. Such is life. But hopefully, there'll be a few layouts there which take my attention. I'll try and get a bit of footage for you. Yeah, boy. Just wanted to show you actually while we're here, you see this, those zigzaggy lines, that's what happens when you use a track rubber on your track. So Network Rail have been using track rubbers on this track and not proper track cleaning equipment. Keep that in mind. Here we are then, behind the scenes, we are at GETS 2023, that's the stand I'm working at this weekend with DC Concepts. Uh, when I get a chance I'm going to have a look round and poke at some layouts. HN Rail, a Cura Scale Class 37 prototype, looking really, really nice. Now I've already got one Class 37, but I do like Corliss, and I do like the Corliss livery. And of course I've got two of these on order as well. The adopted Hattons, now Cura Scale Class 66. And of course we've got the lovely Manners as well. This is the main exhibit, as it were. This is making tracks one, a bit of one, a bit of two, and most of three. It is absolutely insane. As you can see, it's quite a walk. It is beautiful. Mullikin Central, that's the station I came out of this morning, or this today evening. And it, it does look like that. Must be careful that I don't bump into Pete Waterman, he's just down there. It looks like he's having a bit of a chat with his team as well. You finally done it then? Well, Mad scientist. The, yeah. This isn't the full thing though, is it? You, you're doing the rest of it, aren't you? As well, the wall is yeah. yeah. Just a brief chat with Mr. Waterman there about what's intended for Wally. They're going to put all three segments of this thing together, the full segments, not just the partial ones like we have here. And hopefully they'll put the lead back on that pendo as well, so it's not naked. Um, so what? 
Did you want me to go into the platform with that? Okay. And this was just a nice jolly little shunting layer operated by what looked like a father and his two sons as well. Nice to get the kids involved early, I think. Give it to Neil. Neil will take over. Yeah. Bit of a better time. Um, this is just because our madness is more than wasn't it? There was. We've got another layout upstairs. I will move my yeah. hand. Have we sent something? You shown your drawer. Yes, we were here last year. It's busy last year. Sunday, that Sunday is this year. Yeah, it's one of the business shows. I know what's coming. Is that nice? Yes. Take both of them to one to Neil, and you'll stick down and bring that all the way to me. That's awesome. Uh, no, we can't. If you set the points, well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now secretly tempted to buy an engage layout on oh, DMA more expenses then. Well it can't be ignored, you do get a lot in your space, you really do. Because you, I, I, with me being double O, I can run maybe a two, two coaches, and that's it. Before I've run out of space, and you've got a full scale train there. Look at this coming up now. Nice full length log train as well. That's really cool. Been so busy today, I didn't get a chance to do any filming whatsoever. Hopefully, there'll be a chance tomorrow. It was a pretty one. And this layout was Gordon's Lane, really nice modern TMD layout. This was opposite us the entire weekend. I have to say, though, the constant running and droning of that diesel tamper machine really did start to get mm, quite testing, really. It was a little bit like being sat next to a diesel generator all afternoon, but there we are. Looked nice though, and did sound nice for a little bit. What can't be denied though is just how nice the scenery on this particular model image layout does look. I quite like it, so get trees involved as well. Back over to Acura Scale again, we've got some more examples of their existing models. All looking lovely, and of course we have their awards. They won far too many for me to remember and recall manufacturer of the year i think was one of them best rolling stock best locomotive best I've heard, I've heard attendance the exact opposite, if I'm honest with you. class yeah, 31 know, is what well, i'm looking yeah, forward to the most yeah. i think this is their one of their prototypes as you can see it has the usual curious scale goodies attached to it but they have recently announced it's been delayed because they need to improve things which is which is good because they're admitting there's faults and they're addressing them I'm just trying to get some footage of the new Earl Gage locomotive, a Rushton DS, and you've got Richard Watson being a living chimp. Laughing and joking, right in view of my camera. Very nice. And this was one of the layouts on the Holmby magazine stand, Modern Image Depot. Really nice, and just shows what you can fit into a limited space. Quite a nice bit of diesel action here, really slow running, and it quite clearly has been thought about. Because you wouldn't get a locomotive flying through a carriage washer, so it's important, this is exactly why it's important to have a good running locomotive with nice clean track or even a stay alive to help you really get that true crawl you would get. I think the traffic got round properly used to make the show busy. 
Ja, ich bin gerade verstanden. I would say yes, yeah, but yeah. the professional answer is I don't know. Yeah, of course. No, I've only um, just started with a magazine. I haven't even technically started yet. <laughs> so, what a first day, man. Yeah. Yeah, Mike said, we'll come out, go try. So, you need to say no. Would you? Now this was their TT120 layout and it, to be fair with you, I have to hold my hands up with you, everything did look really nice when it was laid out, the locals looked well, rolling the stock looks really well, the scenery is great, it's a bit like, it's a bit like Engage but chunkier, it's like, it's like chunky Engage to me. Good. My advice would be if you want some decent shots on the buy that, do it now before everyone gets here. Yeah, well, so you have a lot of convincing of that. This was probably my favourite part of the layout though, the little viaduct with the HST and the Scotsman flying over it. It just looked really, really nice and was a really great little, for lack of a better word, scenic feature just to show off what you can really get into again with just not a lot of space and if you've not dedicated to a scale already then TT does seem to be an option. size of it. Burnt Island. Now this thing really impressed me as well. This is the Wiesmann, Wiesmann road system I think it is and it's there's nothing underneath there. I think everything is done with the actual vehicles themselves. The roadway appears to be some kind of magnetic track to which the vehicles follow and they slow down and speed up as you can see. Like your lighting panels or whatever. Indeed, yeah, yeah. Some lovely layouts that I managed to just get a, a little bit of time viewing. But then I managed to catch Nick and have a quick chat with him about the Double yeah. O Gauge well, Live Steam there. Society. Well, like... Nick, where are you from? Milton Keynes. What's your layout? Oh, Live Steam. Lexington High Level is my yeah. yeah. Tell us about Live Steam quickly before we have to get kicked out of the venue. <laughs> Live Steam, brilliant. Best thing ever performed we ever made. Uh, we're keeping it going for everybody and uh, we deal with the servicing. And we're a very friendly bunch. And where can we find you, mate? Well, we're based all, we're all over the country, but we're on an online club at olivesteam.com. You'll find us at many road shows that we can get to, um, main railway shows. And uh, we've got uh, Darren in the background, he's from Whitby. Hello. And uh, hello, hello you, yeah? someone asked for me. That's it. Um, <laughs> we support the Hormy range, and also we have our own. Uh, Repaints, renumbered models, which are part of the Hormy range, but right, colours and liveries that they never, they never provided at the time. And we've got Chris here, who's one of our main uh, service engineers, and uh, various members of our team are in the layout at the moment. We're closing up, so we'll yeah. start a big uh, wrap up. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we thoroughly enjoy ourselves. Good morning. Thanks very much, Mike. See you soon, right? Well, Cheers, Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Mike. Love you, love you. Yeah, well, I'm just going to do it. Dirty cut, dirty cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Busy day. Time to get onto a very, very busy train home. 
as you can see, lots to look at to get. So I had a really nice time and a big thank you to DCC Concepts for giving me the opportunity to come and help them out and also see gets as well. But apart from that, nothing much has been happening on the railway. I've been working quite a lot, so unfortunately there's not much in the way of updates. I've got a few new wagons and what have you. Next week I'm going to be hopefully showing you how you can spruce up your layout with a few handy bits and pieces you can buy over the counter. Because if you're like me, you're not really so good at the scratch building type of thing, but you want to make your layout look pretty, there's an easy way of doing it. So until then guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.